Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a great day. Why? Because we're going to be talking about root tabs and plants, that's why. Uh, so today's topic is I'm going to uh, show you all how to make your own root tabs uh, using Osmocote um, and uh, uh, capsules and uh, what to do to make those uh, because Osmocote is, is fantastic fertilizer. Uh, it's great. It's a lot cheaper than any of the aquarium root tabs that you'll find and it's not uh, difficult to make at all. Um, I'll, I'll show you where you can get these but first before I show you how to make your own root tabs let's talk about API root tabs first. Boom! picture of it right there. You can find it for about 10 bucks uh, pretty much anywhere. Um, it's a guaranteed analysis, kind of cuts to the chase. Uh, it only provides uh, the macronutrients that plants need, uh, being nitrogen, potassium, phosphates, and iron, and it has a solid amount uh, of those. 3% nitrogen, 1% um, potassium, 1% phosphates, and 5% iron, which is uh, uh, fantastic. Uh, it's a you know it's a good fertilizer except for the fact that you know it's kind of expensive for 10 bucks you get 10 of them and um, depending on the size of your tank you know if you've got a 50 gallon tank that'll cover one pack will cover the whole tank and it's good for a couple months but let's talk about sechum root tabs all right so bam here's a picture of sechum they charge about the same amount Okay, 10 bucks. Now, boom! Look at the guaranteed analysis. Guaranteed analysis, nitrogen, 0.3%. Uh, phosphates, 0.17%. Potassium, 0.16%. Calcium, 14%. Iron, 2%. Magnesium, 0.06%. Sulfur, 12%. Boron, 0.019%. Chlorine, 0.55%. Manganese, 0.23%. Sodium, 0.34%. And zinc, 0.015%. Now, Seachum strikes again. Uh, I, I mean, seriously, what's your angle, Seachum? Uh, I, I mean, who runs the show there? Plant terrorists? Okay, because let me explain something to you. Chlorine, which all of the nutrients in here, for one thing, the you know, because it has virtually everything, they're all negligent amounts, of course, uh, but they decided to toss in chlorine. So let's talk about what chlorine does. Okay, now, we're all aware that there are products to remove chlorine from your tap. Why? Because it's bad for animals it's also bad for plants what does it do to plants well it prevents nutrition intake and hinders growth so there's a contradiction right there they give you barely any nutrients at all and then to make sure that your plants get nothing it tosses in chlorine to contradict all of the nutrients that it provides and then sodium now <clears throat> I've known for years that sodium was bad because I had to learn the hard way that it was killing all of my plants because my water runs through a softener which is loaded with sodium. So what does sodium do to plants? Well, it causes stunted growth for one thing and secondly, it causes arrested cell development. Well, what's that? Chemical manipulation that halts progression through the cell cycle. So. It just stops everything from happening. So I, I'm completely, and, and look at the list. So look at how minuscule the nutrients are that it provides. And then look at the copious amounts of chlorine and sodium. Uh, I mean, it just, uh, ugh. just throw the whole company in the trash. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's considered slander. I mean, it's on the package, so I'm, I'm only pointing out what they already point out and admit what's in there, you know? So, 
Let's just stop talking about it. Don't get those root tabs. I mean, that's my opinion. You know, maybe you've had success with them. I, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, so let's talk about Osmocote. Now look at these lovely numbers. Boom! Now it provides massive amounts of uh, the macronutrients that plants want. 15% nitrogen. I love it. Uh, potassium, 12%. Phosphates, 9%. Magnesium, 1.3%. And then the micronutrients are all on the lower spectrum, obviously. Boron, 0.02. Copper, 0.05. Manganese, 0.06. And zinc, 0.05. Those are all appropriate numbers when we're talking about micronutrients for plants. And then the macronutrients are just massive amounts. Now, because of that, because it gives so much nitrogen, um, you don't want to just dump it in your tank. Because remember, Osmocote is minted, meant for, uh, you know, potted plants or your garden or whatever. Uh, so we're going to make uh, safe root tabs with them. Uh, but still, if you're going to use Osmocote, because of there's so much nitrogen in there, uh, this is where if you use a sand substrate, really comes uh, into play here because you know th there are youtubers that will tell you that plants can't grow in sand and that's true because sand doesn't provide anything it's just sand you know so yeah you'll need root tabs to make your plants work or like in my case I use soil and I cap it with sand um, if you're gonna use sand I only recommend two uh, pool filter sand and uh, black diamond blasting sand which if you've been following me for a while you know that those are the only two I'll ever suggest play sand is not going to cut it um, you need a very fine dense sand that will stop um, any elements from escaping into the water column okay and uh, black diamond blasting sand and pool filter sand are the only two that I found that are capable of doing this if you have at least two inches of it above your uh, soil, you know, or if you're not using soil at all and you just want to use sand, that's fantastic. These are great for that. So uh, the capsules I buy uh, are vegetarian. Yeah, they're meant for like if you make your own supplements to ingest. Uh, so, it, you know, they're all biodegradable, of course. Uh, uh, vegetarian empty capsules. I use size 00. zero. And uh, it's gluten-free, not that your plants will care, uh, you know, and no GMO. It's 100% it's, it's natural. Um, and it, it does take a while uh, to dissolve. You want to stick it all the way down to the, you know, to the bottom of your substrate. Do not use this in a gravel or pebble or play sand substrate. Um, uh, a lot of nitrogen is going to escape into your water column which will, you know, trigger nitrites and nitrates to soar. So, um, anyway, uh, they're, let me see if I can show you. They are little tiny, little tiny pebbles. Okay? Now, what I do is I take these pebbles, I put them between two pieces of paper, and then if you... You know, you may find a better way to do this. I don't know, but I put it. I put it between two pieces of paper, and then I take my little hammer here and I just crush them up and, until they're a powder, which I've already done. I, I figured you guys didn't want to watch me hammering capsules. Um, and the reason I like doing this instead of just taking like um, these individually and you know getting my tweezers you know and putting you know one at a time in there that that's a little bit more time consuming but also when these dissolve it's got a shell this this shell whenever the nutrients are inside of it and a little hole will start to form releasing the nutrients and what's left are actually these these shells uh, so you're you're left with these little shells and I uh, I find it all disappears when you crush it up. Then I take my capsule, which I crush some up here, and I simply just keep it in the paper that I crushed it in. And I use my paper like a, you know, like a funnel. All right. 
and then I'll do the same on the other side and yes just in case you're curious I accidentally just dumped all this onto my uh, piece of paper I had below it, which it's fine and then I, and once I have both ends filled up you can actually just close it and then you have your tab get your tweezers stick it in wherever you want it works fantastic I, I'm telling you that that Osmocote in these capsules put beneath rooted plants you're going to get ex an explosion of growth and I've also uh, found that using this helps stop um, uh, crip melt uh, which we all know if you've been doing plants for a while that crips are notorious for their melt and then you know they melt all the way and then start all over uh, so I, I made the because I was trying to look at the camera and pour I, it was kind of awkward and I missed my mark but yeah do it on a table maybe you have one of those little pill crushing bowls that that may help um, but it works fantastic and it lasts for months and months uh, actually almost six months um, well that's about how long it lasts when it's still in these little uh, pellets that you crush but anyway, that's it. And I will leave uh, a link to you know to where you can find these. These are cheap. These are like $1.99 and you get 100 of them. Osmo and when I'm saying Osmocote, there's two different kinds. You have Osmocote and you have Osmocote Plus. Plus provides uh, micronutrients. The uh, regular Osmocote just has the macro. So I like the Plus because it has the macro and micro. Um, everything in in massive amounts and I've used it in all my tanks um, you know and if you've been watching me for a while my plants speak for themselves I mean you can just see back here all of this is grown off soil um, and in this one actually when I started it I was experimenting with Osmocote and I was just dumping it straight into the water to see what it would do to my water column um, I wanted to know exactly um, how bad it could be if you were to accidentally just, you know, dump some in your water column. And if you have no animals, it's perfectly okay uh, to just sprinkle some into your water column. Uh, it's going to take you several months for it all to dissolve, though, before you can put animals in there. But I'm a patient, I'm a patient guy. You know, I let this tank run for nearly six months before I put animals in there. And I put the most sensitive animals on the planet in there. Uh, Caradina shrimp and they're doing just fine and uh, off the soil and yeah I've recharged the soil with these uh, root tabs that I've made um, and I just stick it all the way to the bottom nothing is getting into the water column that would disturb my Caradina shrimp and they've been in there for a month now um, and you know none have died they're, they're doing great they haven't started breeding yet but you know that's okay uh, when you introduce Caradina shrimp into a tank, it takes, you know, two to three months before they'll start doing that anyway. But anyway, we're getting off topic. Shame on you, Seachum. I'm not sure if they go out of their way specifically just to tick me off, or if that's just like a rule of thumb there to just, you know, I have no idea. Um, I don't recommend them. I will not drop a link to those root tabs, okay? Uh, but, you know, if you've been using them and you're content on using them, continue to do so although they have two elements that kill plants and can kill animals it makes no sense to me so uh, that's all I've got for you oh and I will leave a link to this now just so you know when you're digging through if you try to find Osmoco root tabs there's some dude on Amazon who actually does this he buys the Osmoco he buys these capsules makes a bunch of root tabs like I'm showing you and then resells them on Amazon. You can do it yourself. Um, plus, there's no telling what he actually puts in those, or she. I don't know if it's run by a dude or a girl. Um, if he's actually putting Osmocote in there, but he says, you know, and you can look at the comments yourself. It's like, they, they don't even get the Osmocote label. They just get a, a blank bag, you know, like this, with a bunch of capsules, with mystery product in there so you know I don't know maybe he honestly does put Osmocote or she I don't know but anyway 
This video is already running a bit too long. I hope you made it to the end because I did save the actual, even though it's kind of a disaster, uh, making the pills at the end. But when I'm focused on them, it's a little bit easier uh, than trying to make a video and show. But yeah, here's here's the mess. <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, do them separately. Don't make videos while you're trying to make pills. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic day. And if you're down in the dumps, you're having a bad day, get up and do something about it. Thank you all, and thanks to all my new subscribers. We'll catch you next time.